guys, I'm at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum today. I wanted to do Vanessa's challenge where you vlog in a creepy place, so here I am. I've got the kids with me. They don't know a whole lot about Poe. I recently just got into him in August. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go inside and check it out and see what all is here. I'm excited. So the Edgar Allan Poe Museum here in Richmond is supposed to have the largest collection of Poe stuff in it out of anywhere in the country. So there's a lot of stuff in this room in particular from his uh, childhood home and from people that he knew, his uh, friends and relatives. courtyard that you come out to when you leave the little room that we were in. I was just doing some reading on this building that we're at and it's called the Stone House. This is a house that was built during the American Revolution. It was owned by the Egg family. Here's one of the little cats that lives here at the museum. What's this one called Brooke? Uh, I don't see a name tag on this. Oh this one doesn't have a name tag but it's super cute. Hello kitty kitty. This one's called Egg Brooks over here petting Edgar the cat. Aww. Hello kitty. It's a beautiful little courtyard that we're in. I would love to have something like this at my house. This is his little shrine that talked about. That's Edgar. He doesn't look as bad in sculpture as he does in paintings. <laughs> We're gonna see what's in the memorial building now. Check this out. Mm. So that right there is Poe's walking stick. And this is a brass ladle from his home. What is this? So socks. Edgar Allan Poe's boot hooks. And socks. And his socks. He had tiny feet. Oh my gosh, I think my feet are twice that size. This right here is the first printing of the Telltale Heart. Here's a couple of his other first printings, first editions. Pretty cool. Here he is missing an arm. This is a portrait of Francis Osgood, who Poe was thought to be having an affair with when his wife was dying. I don't know if it's true or not, but I read a book. What was that book called? Uh, if I think about it, I'll put it on here. But I read a book about a year or so ago about this woman and Poe and their affair. So kind of interesting to see her portrait in here. Here is his trunk. This says, Poe left his trunk in Richmond on his last visit to the city. It contained most of his worldly possessions, some clothing, a mirror, and some manuscripts. The key to the trunk was found in Poe's pocket after his death, two weeks after leaving Richmond. Off to the exhibit building. All right, I gotta be honest, this building smells like cat pee. I think the cats hang out in here. <laughs> You can smell it. And there's a dead body on the floor. Yay. I don't know why. Oh, the victim. Oh, we're in like a mystery. So this is the body of Mary, something who was murdered in New York or New Jersey. We haven't figured out yet. She was found in a river and apparently Poe had a hand in her investigation. So that is what we're doing in here. We're reading all the clues and looking at the pictures on the wall to try to figure out who murdered Mary. So here we have the suspects. I haven't read this far yet, but I wanted to show you her body because, dang. yeah, dang, that is totally creepy right there. She has a roach crawling across her eyeball. 
I don't know if you can see that, but that is disgusting. Oh, I thought that was hair. No, that's a roach. You. Both. All right. So we figured out what all this is about. So Poe wrote the story, the mystery of Marie Roguette, and that story is based off of this actual murder of this woman named Mary Rogers. And um, he was really upset because he felt the police weren't doing a good job. And he wrote the story to try to explain how to uh, do investigations properly so they could find her murder. And it's kind of up in the air of who the actual murder is. I don't think we actually find out. So that is what this room is. And it's been pretty cool to read all this stuff in here. I liked it. Yeah. So there is a second oh, yeah. level going up here. They have a bunch of these old posters with Vincent Price and Edgar Allan Poe movies that he was in. They just had an Edgar Allan Poe movie marathon here, I think last weekend. So that's really cool. These look like they are prints from different stories that he wrote. I don't know, but I want this on a t-shirt. All right, so that ends our trip at the Poe Museum. I'd say it was successful. It was a learning experience. I did get some goodies for the giveaway, so I'm excited about that. I hope the winners like what they get. I would like it because I'm a Poe fan. But anyway, we are going to head over to St. John's Church. That is the church where Poe's mother, Elizabeth, is buried. So I want to check that out. And I will see you all in a second. Found Elizabeth Arnold Poe, Edgar Allan Poe's mother. This used to be an unmarked grave. And I forget who put this here. I should have looked this up before I made this video. But I know that it was unmarked and someone felt bad about that and they had this made and put here. So here we go, I found what I was looking for. It says the Poe Museum thanks the Raven Society for restoring this monument to the mother of Edgar Allan Poe in 2002.